I picked up this old camera recently. Let's see if we can fix it. So for those of you that don't know, over the past few months I have started a eBay reselling business, um, mostly focusing on vintage electronics from cameras to cassette players, etc. Um, a little bit of clothing, but trying to stick to just electronics for right now. So I'll leave a link in the description to my second YouTube channel which kind of details our eBay reselling business and some of the sold items that we've had um, in case you're interested in checking that out. <clears throat> but I picked up this Canon camera off eBay, paid around $10 for it. It is, I don't even remember the model, AF35M2. Um, I was looking at comps for this and in decent working condition, this should net around $60 if I can get it fixed. So just looking at it, you know, the, the exterior body's dirty, but it looks to be complete. Um, typically, you'll find that the battery door cover is broken or missing. There is a bit of corrosion. I don't know if you'll be able to see in there, but there's a little bit of corrosion from the battery. Um, so that's going to have to be taken care of. I have no idea the condition of this as far as if it works or not. But one of the things that I've wanted to do in conjunction with my eBay reselling business is try to learn how to repair things. Uh, as the garage sale season is coming upon us quickly, I'm hoping to pick up some vintage electronics pretty cheap. And with that, I'm sure there's going to be a fair amount of repairs that need to happen. So, um, yeah, this is just kind of a learning experience for me. I don't have a manual or anything for this camera, so I'm just going to try to figure it out as we go. Plan is I'm going to take it apart and try to clean these battery contacts and give it a good cleaning. So let's see what we can do. First things first, let's just throw a couple AA batteries in here and see if we get any life out of it. I'm not expecting anything. And I don't even know how you go about turning it on. So I guess at first glance, we have nothing. Um, I can't even get the shutter to open. I'm not sure if that's this button here. But I think first things first, we should probably get this opened and take a look at these contacts just to see if that's going to solve our issues. Looks like there's a fair amount of screws on the exterior body, so I'm going to start pulling these apart and see if we can drag this thing open. Okay, so that's it for the bottom. There's three screws here. These ones are a little corroded. Um, but I got those out. Looks like there's one more up top there and one more over here. Let's see. Oftentimes there's some hidden ones. And I've only taken a part of few of these point-and-shoot cameras so far, so I'm by no means an expert, but I have had pretty good success with the ones I've taken apart. Oftentimes, a good cleaning is all it really needs, but those are the only ones I see visible at first glance. Sometimes, if you open up 
the housing. There's a few in here that will hold the body together, but I don't really see anything obvious. This one here, I don't believe is for the body, but we'll see. I'm going to mess with this a little bit. i got a little bit of movement here. I'm going to mess with this a little bit, and I'll come back once I have it figured out a little bit more. Okay, I took the strap off. Just, I was kind of getting in the way. I did remove this screw here, uh, this screw in here, which held on. I don't know what you would call this. This little part here that holds the film in place. The film. And then there's one more screw under the battery cover here. And I got a little more movement here. I know that... It seems like there's one more screw somewhere. There might be one hidden under this. Looks like there used to be a label there. I'm going to pry that off and see if I can find anything under there. But we're close. Okay, so get the back off here. That just has this, these two screws. That came out well, three, I guess, is one on the side. And then that flips out of the way. And then the battery cover comes off. But after taking this apart, it looks like there's some corrosion here. So I'm wondering if this camera got wet. I don't know. Um, I still want to get down and clean up those battery contacts. And hopefully that'll help. But I'm wondering if there might be some more issues here. So I've got some more work to do. I still can't quite figure out how to separate the front from the back. I don't see see any more screws that are visible, but who knows. Let me look around a little bit more. Okay, I think we have some progress. The top pops off. And let's see if we can wiggle it out of here. And really, if we can get the top off, that should be as far as we need to go. And yeah, that's what I was afraid of. There's a screw right here. Um, this material, I don't even know what, I can't remember what it's called, but this is like an overlay, and it's adhered onto the back. Um, it's in really good condition, so I don't want to destroy it, but in order for me to get the top off, I think I'm going to have to remove it, unless it's not a screw, then I might be able to wiggle it out like that, but it has a screw hole, so I don't know, maybe that's just a pin, so it might be okay, I'll have to assess that later. Um, lost a little bit here, buttons came off, I should be able to figure that out, um, where does that leave us, looks like there's a decent amount of corrosion in here, and I can't get at Unfortunately, I can't get at these battery contacts very easily. I have to remove a whole lot of mechanisms. So, I'm going to have to look at this a little bit harder. Okay, I know that I have to remove a lot of these mechanisms to get at the top of the battery chamber. 
but I, I can't get the front off and I'm suspecting that there's some hidden screws behind this so I'm going to use the heat gun try to soften up that adhesive and hopefully I can pull this off without damaging it Let's give that a shot. Huh. It might not even be. It looks like it wants to come apart, but there's definitely something holding it. Yeah. That's fine. That doesn't feel right. I'm going to have to look around a little more. Alright, so I think I found it. Turns out this material that I was trying to separate here um, is connected to this front piece. So I peeled that off. And lo and behold, we've got another screw. So let's see what we get when we remove this one. And I'm happy that that adhesive came off without destroying it. Yeah, and there's a couple more back here. I'm going to leave it like that for now. This is as much just learning about the operation and mechanics of this camera. I, you know, I don't know if I'm going to be successful in repairing it. I hope so. But at the end of the day, if I just learn about it, then I'll be happy with that too. This is a not a high-end camera, but it's certainly somewhat valuable. So it would be nice if I could fix it and flip it. That was my intent. But we got to get it open first. Uh, in comparison with some of the other ones that I've taken apart, this one is more complex. I think that this um, timer, the soft timer, is holding the front on. And I can't really see the best way to remove it. So we're good in there. Um, that still doesn't help me with the top, although the front has to come off in order for me to remove all of this, as there's some screws back there. 
So, I'm going to mess with this a little bit. And as soon as I get the front off, I'll show you all that. Alright, so there we go now. Uh, turns out, this little cap was on top of the self timer tab and I think once I take this screw out that should be the last screw holding the front on. Hopefully. Gently take that off. And there we go. So, I'm not sure why the front or why it wasn't opening. Obviously, we've got battery issues. There is a massive amount of corrosion in here. Wow. I don't know if you guys can see that, but I'm seeing corrosion all through here. Pretty much every connection. So, I think the odds of us repairing this camera are slim, but I've got nothing to lose at this point. Worst case scenario, if I can't fix this or I can't put it back together, uh, this will just be a parts camera that I can save for other repairs. So, like I said, I've got ten dollars into this, and in my opinion, it's worth that much just for um, learning purposes. So. Trying to figure out the best way. I want to try to move, uh, remove as much of these mechanisms in like big pieces as possible. Unfortunately, the the battery terminals are underneath this whole mess of stuff, and I feel like. The odds of me putting all of this back together is it's a little scary. Um, so I'm trying to figure out if there's a way that I can just pop the whole thing off. So I think I'm going to start with these two screws and probably these two and see where that gets me. I don't know. We'll start diving into this and see what we got. Like, I think this is the probably the fourth camera that I've done, and well, well, not all of them. Most of them are point and shoots. I've done a few vintage film SLRs, and I vastly prefer the. The SLRs, they're just a little bit, well, they're a lot more simpler. The, oh, this is going to be a nightmare. These point shoots just, they have so, and I'm driving a screwdriver. The point shoots have a lot more electronics. Um, they're just more complex. So, makes it harder to remember where everything goes. Whereas the SLR is that even though it looks more complicated, there's a lot more uh, mechanical parts. Once you get that straightened out, it's not really that big of an issue. I'm uh, just kind of going for it now. I, I have a feeling that if I start removing some of these other screws, say like these two, 
then we're going to be removing individual components. And like I said, I wanted to try to keep as many pieces intact as I could, but I don't think that's going to be possible. There's probably probably a screw heading underneath the shutter count mechanism. Um, I'm going to have to eventually take off this front board just to clean it. And I think that's what I'll end up doing is um, I want to I want to give this a good faith effort, so I think I'm going to dismantle as much as I need to in order to get this board off and to get access to these um, battery terminals. But I don't want to go too much further than that. I, I saw on somebody else's channel that you can use uh, ultrasonic cleaner to clean corrosion off boards like this. So I'm going to give that a shot. Never done that before. Um, but yeah, there's a lot of a lot of parts on here. This is way more complex than some of the other cameras have done. So I want to keep filming as I go just so that way I can Remember how it goes back together. I think that clip should just pop off. Maybe. I don't know, your guess is as good as mine right now. Um, there's a lot of these little clips, and I, definitely have to remove some. This is, there's all kinds of gears underneath here. This is um, going to be a challenge. We have to go ahead and do it. So remember where the spring goes. Try to just leave that side on. And I want to say that hopefully, if I pop this screw out, we can get the bulk of this. Maybe, maybe not. Okay, that half wants to, but I don't really need that half. I need this half. I think there's, yeah, there's a screw underneath here. So I have to get this off. And what just fell? Spring fell. Okay. That's kind of the nerve-wracking part too. Is 
as you're moving it around, things are moving and you're not, you know, if you don't notice that something is actually disconnected and you, you flip the camera one way and all of a sudden you lost something. I don't know if that sides up or if that's like a, um, uh, what do you call it? I don't know, I can't think of a word. You know what I mean, though. Is that like a C clip, or does it slide up the top? I don't know. I'm going to go on. Not really liking it, but I can tell you that. And I think it's, I think this clip is plastic, so I'm trying to be careful not to break it. That was really pretty bad. Well, you get the idea. I'm going to get that off and then see what's going to happen. Okay, clip is off. It is metal and it does slip off on the top. And of course, that didn't even help us. Why didn't that help us? Um, I guess this is going to be more in-depth than I was hoping. I just wanted to clean this thing, you know? But... Okay, now what's holding this one? I feel like if I could just get this off, then I'd be able to get where I need to get. Of course. Yeah. And I don't want to bend it. And it's on there good. It's not. It's almost holding it pretty snug. I don't know if this is. Uh, I'm going to have a clip there. Or is it threaded? Yeah, oh, there we go. Okay, so there. In the spring, that ought to be fun to get back together. Okay, now there we go. I got that screw there, and I'm getting close. Probably not really, but. Okay, so I definitely need to record this part. All of these little gears are going to come off, and I need to remember exactly which one goes where. I have a feeling this is going to be quite a challenge to get back. So, I'll make some room here. Perfect. 
figure it out. There's that one. Maybe I don't need to take all of them out, hopefully. There's that one. Need this guy to come off somehow. I wonder if I just need. I don't have a. It would be nice to have a spanner tool, but I don't have one, and I can't. Can't do that because it's on these posts. So how does that come off? That doesn't feel too good. Mm. Oh, this feels super good. Unfortunately, too, as soon as this comes off, things are going to go flying. I wonder if I can just remove this one. What that's gonna do. Nothing. Uh, it didn't really do anything. Maybe. Again, some movement. Probably. Um. There's a screw hidden there. This is very in depth. Just to try to clean those terminals. And I guess I, I mean I could have tried cleaning them without taking it apart, but I don't think I would have been able to do a thorough enough job. And you know, seeing some of the corrosion that is on the inside here, we would have had to have Taking it all apart, anyways. So, I think that we didn't really have much of a choice. But I, I'm oh, losing parts. I wonder if I should just look forward to this stuff. How does that come off? There's one more screw there and two here. I wonder if that whole thing comes off. I don't know, let's find out. Really, I just want to clean my battery terminals. And this one there's some awfully delicate cables right on here. There's going to be about 500 screws. To try to figure out where they all go.
Nope. That's it. It's just these wires are holding it in place. And I mean, this has to come off anyways if I'm going to take the board apart. Right? Yeah. That'll be the one screw that I know where it goes back. It's green. Is that? I don't know. I gotta tell you, I'm not super confident that we're gonna get this back together. <laughs> But if we do, it's going to be well worth the 60 bucks I'm going to sell it for. And if we don't, like I said, we'll just have a parts camera for the next one. I mean, worst case scenario, I could sell this on eBay as a parts camera, but what's the fun of that? Mm -hmm. I don't see what is holding this board on. This one doesn't appear doing anything. Um, this stuff wants to come out. Maybe I can... Oh, wait a sec. There's some more stuff in here. Oh, boy. No, we did it. No, we did it. <sighs> kind of no man's land over right here. Oh, my gosh. See, there's a... Uh, a solder joint right there. So... I should have just, I don't know, I guess I should, I guess I should take all these clips apart. I thought maybe they could just stay, but they can get in the way. I'd like to, if at all possible, leave as much of these wires intact. Because I think that will make an already complicated process even more complicated. That's not going to fit around there. Right <laughs> We're so close. Yep, it's. What is that? Who's holding that? Ugh. It is dirty in there. Okay. 
That's what I was talking about. So now this one, I have no idea where this one goes. It'll be fun. Really just want to get smart. Well, I guess I'm gonna have to bust out the starting iron. It's gotta come off anyways, so may as well be now. But it feels like there's someone else holding it. See anything though? I guess that wire. Uh oh. Now we got a, a loose wire in here. Uh oh. I don't have a um, electrical schematic or anything, so that could be a problem. All right, I'm gonna get the soldering iron. Okay, now the soldering iron is warming up. Let's just go over. I'm going to more parts. Let's go over. Your job is to remember where things go. So, blue and little orange. Big orange goes from there to there. And white is in the back here. I think I'm going to do these two, that, and that. And that should be everything. At least enough so that way I can see what's going on. Hopefully. Alright, let's go ahead and try this out. Um, let's start up here first. Let's This one's iffy because there's other wires around it. Alright, there's one. That was the white one, remember? I'm going to turn this down a little bit. I just want to see as we remove them what that does for us. It feels like there's something else. Okay. 
You know what? I'm going to do this orange one right here because it's easier to get at. But I can't do it left handed. Okay, and there we go. So you can see there is corrosion underneath there that has to be cleaned. This whole part here, but so I am going to be a little annoyed if I didn't have to take that all apart. How do I that's right there? Okay, so that's even more fun. This uh battery terminal is this part. So it has to slide out means it will come off with the board which will make cleaning it easier but I'm having a hard time getting this board off so let's use I mean, I know that eventually I'm going to have to disconnect all of these to clean the board. Oh, that's going to be a nightmare. That is going to be a nightmare. But it's got to be done, right? It's not going to work without it. So, let me just do my own Let's see here. Blue and orange and red. Black is the second one. Blue goes to here. Green to there, white to there, gray and brown, black down there, green, white, orange, red. Hopefully, hopefully I'll be able to remember where they all go. But for now, I'm just going to take them all up because we got to get this board off. And these wires should, for the most part, have a little bit of a memory, so hopefully they'll just kind of show me where they're supposed to go. Just a few more. These are the ones that I'm I'm nervous about because they're awfully delicate. Oh. 
Okay. Well, the shakes apparently. Alright, so I finally got these terminals off, and you can see they're quite corroded. I realized after the fact that I didn't need to desolder these four connections and these ones here. It turns out if I had looked a little bit closer, I could have just desoldered where these two battery terminals connected to the board. But, um, that's okay. I'm going to clean this board up a little bit. There is a little bit of corrosion on there anyway, so I'm going to clean the board. I'm going to clean these battery terminals, and then we can try to throw it all together and see if it works. Okay, so first things first, I'm just going to go through and start cleaning some of the, the body here. I'm just using ice purple alcohol. 99% would be better, but all I have is 70%, so that's what I'm using. Just trying to scrub off the remains of that corrosion. Try to get everything cleaned up as best I can. There's some lithium grease in here, and that is for the mechanical parts of the gears, so I'm being cognizant of that, just trying to get the corrosion off, you can see just little specks of it everywhere, so this is uh, not as bad as I had anticipated when I first opened it up and saw the condition of the battery terminals, but I want to do as good as I can in here. The main problem is the terminals themselves. So I'm just going to scrub away at everything I can reach. Try to get that cleaned up. Okay, I've got the body as, as uh, clean as it's going to be, but i got to clean up all this corrosion on these terminals. And again, I'm just using the isopropyl alcohol. I'm going to start with this and see how it does. If that doesn't work, I'm going to move to a real fine sandpaper, but this seems like it's coming off pretty good. So I'm just going to spend some time on these two. 
Sherman all scrubbing them up and seeing what we get. I'm hopeful that this is where the majority of the problem lies. And if I can just get it all clean and put back together, then everything will work as it should. I'm also going to go through and desolder all of this old solder from the, where the wires were soldered to it. When I put it back together, I just want fresh, clean solder so that way I know that all of the connections are good connections and not having residual corrosion or anything else. I just want to eliminate that from being a potential problem. Okay, so that's as clean as I can get them, but that's a lot better than they were. This one's got a little bit left I'm going to pick at. But um, this video is getting pretty long, so I think I'm going to wrap it up here. And in the second one, we'll go about... Um, trying to put it all back together. I did notice, um, unfortunately, as I was taking the, the body apart, a bunch of these little plastic bits fell out, and I was a little perplexed at first, and then I started thinking about it, and it turns out there are all of these clips that hold the front of the camera on. So I'm not sure if somebody's tried to get in here before me. Um, I don't know if they broke when I was taking it apart, but you can see there's the remnants of one here. Um, there's one there. There's one there. And I think there's one over here. So... I'm not 100% positive. Um, the front, the uh, self timer mechanism does hold the front on. And there are um, there's a screw in the bottom here, and there's a screw in the side here. So I don't know how vital it's going to be for that to be on there. But I'm going to try to epoxy these clips back into place. I have small hope, a small hope, little hope that there's going to be success with that. But I'm going to try that. And then, like I said, in the next video, we'll start putting it back together and see how that goes. So um, stay tuned for that. And thanks for watching.